Uh, Bruins with a couple weeks left in the season in an effort to turn things back to something that won't turn your stomach. I would I would mention that I was listening to the afternoon show yesterday in advance of watching that game last night, and they were debating whether or not you as a uh, Bruins fan should know who your starting goaltender is for game one of the first round of the playoffs. In my mind... Uh, it's Jeremy Swayman and no debate, but um, seem to be uh, a lot of people who say from a, stati- a statistics perspective uh, post-All-Star game that it ought to be Linus Hallmark. The, well, we already know who it is. The goldfish. We know who it is because they try to trade one goalie. Yeah. And so, so that if tells... You're, if you're willing to trade Linus, then you, then Swayman's going to be your guy. Yeah. And you got to you got to give him the go. Mm-hmm. And you hope that he's your hot goaltender in the play. So, are you supposed to ride a hot goaltender, though, right now? And Linus is hot. Like, Linus yeah. was great last night. So if you're riding him, I don't think it matters if you try to trade him or not. You got to go with your better guy. No, you go with the guy that you think is your top goalie, and that that guy is... But that could change from the time in which you tried to trade Linus Allmark and the time of Game 1. Well, just because you're on a hot streak during the season doesn't mean you're now the hot goalie in the sense of that's the guy you play. I think you go with the guy who you feel like is well, your... Well, but that's exactly what it means, though, Wiggy. It does, it does mean that if you looked at post-All-Star break, uh-huh. and you're just looking at numbers... Right. Linus Allmark has been the better the, goaltender. Who's the I, future of the Bruins, Greg? Jeremy Swayman. Right. And what yeah. is best for the organization? It would be Jeremy Swayman getting some playoff time in, and and uh, whether he's hot or not, he's the becoming, starter. Becoming hot, and he should be the starter. Right. I would because let's you. say Allmark pl- starts and does well, and you get out in what the conference final. Right. Well, then you have Swayman under contract for how many years starting? Does the new deal kick in? It hasn't yet. But I mean, no, has, until next yeah. year. So, I mean, yeah, I, I just think that unless Swayman is, like, awful, Reggie Lemlin bad, then I feel like they stick with him and then Olmark is in there in case of emergency. Because all you're doing is creating more of a problem. Like Curtis said, if you got a guy that is... You know, if Linus is hot now, you have an issue. Come this off season, what do you do? You want you're not going back in the next year with two goalies, so you have to trade one. And if and like Curtis said, if Swayman gets you to this, uh, excuse me, Linus gets you this, to the Stanley Cup Finals, are you going to move on from him? I just don't know what else this team has to do, or Jim Montgomery has to say for people to understand that this team may be built different than other teams. They like, tried I- to trade him. Multiple I under- times. I, I understand that. I just worry that if you do trade him and then you just have Swayman, you're going to see a different Swayman than when they're two, when they're both together. And I think that could be the issue, that these two separated are not as good as these two together. Mm, really? Yeah. I, from a mental perspective? Mental, like they, uh, yeah, mental being able to they rest. they both feed off each other? Yeah, I, I think that these two have a unique relationship. Yes, we may not have seen this before, but I, I think you... You underestimate how much having that support system plays into it. On the Subaru of New England text line, 508 texter says, riding the hot goaltender, another kink of shimes. Hey! <laughs> Go ahead, what? Uh, I also think, though, that, like, to Courtney's point, like, I think there's some legit- Bongos. legitimacy Bongos. to that. Uh, in that, like, when, when you had Tuka Rask, that's one of the reasons you went out and got a guy like Yaroslav Halak, because he could take some of the load off of Tuka Rask's plate during the regular season. And so... I, I think the idea of having Swayman play, you know, 50 games is a little bit insane. But if you're asking him to play 40 and you bring in another guy like Brandon Bussey who can who can play the, the rest of those games and kind of fill in along the way, like, I think that's more... I mean, Courtney's right, though. Healthy. Like, Linus Allmark has been... He looked great last night. Yeah. yeah. He's been great there since was, the trade deadline. And I, I, there, I would not look at, you know, that... that Comeback goal at the that ridiculous goal with a couple seconds left. The end of the second period right. was not his fault. It's on the the guy. The same thing that they've been doing throughout the season, which is letting guys hang out in the crease and not moving bodies. Like, and that, like that. Like that. Slap the those issue. bodies. That is the that's the <laughs> issue when it comes to this team more so than anything else. Well, and I'm like, seeing, clear those guys out. I'm seeing people say, like, okay, these are grown men. They're professional hockey players. You're trying to say that Linus is Swayman's binky. Well, weren't we saying last season when Pasta was having some off time, like, well, Krejci was Pasta's binky? 
Yeah, but that's different though. Can, it, one guy helps one guy helps the other guy in on the actual I'm moment just saying, on men, the ice. The mental side of it is the same. Do you so, want, uh, it, 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 when it comes to the playoffs, do you want Montgomery to go into it thinking that he is going to have a goalie rotation? Yes. You do? Absolutely. So then you don't want so this offseason. You think they shouldn't trade Linus? Nope. Do you know I've been saying I, that since the beginning. Do you know who I think who? wanted the trade the most? Montgomery. Because right. he's off the hook. Yeah. It, this is a really tough position to be in if you have both these guys on your team. Because if one fails, the other believes, the, the fans believe the other would be better. And if you get down two games to one in a series, it's panic mode. Yeah. Don Sweeney tried to trade Olmark. Because the ability for the team to move forward in a singular direction with the young goalie was important for the mindset of the whole team, including coaching staff. And it was enough to say, okay, whatever he helps with Swayman as their buddy goalie tandem is overruled by what an impact it has on the team. So you thought yeah. Sweeney was wrong then, this yeah. off, uh, this trade deadline yeah. for trying to trade? I, I honestly, and this is no disrespect to Olmark or Swayman, I think they're both incredible players. I think they make each other better. Better together. Yes. Hashtag better together. Hashtag better together.